A dog rescue nonprofit in Old Saybrook out thousands of dollars after a thief stole their trailer, and the group has a big adoption event coming up, too. They have a lot of ground to make up. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash explains how you can help. Meet Jack. He came from um, one of our rescue partners in Pennsylvania. He's a one and a half year old Shih Tzu mix looking for a new home. He's being fostered by Homeward Bound CT, an old Saybrook nonprofit that has found families for more than a thousand dogs like him. We're just a bunch of volunteers. We all have families and full time jobs, so we do this in our spare time. The group relies heavily on donations, both cash and supplies, keeping a lot of their goods in this. A small trailer full of about $3,000 worth of supplies now gone and caught on video when the thief hit early Sunday morning. Folding chairs, all of our tables. We had all of our signage, our banners, all of our dog uh, water bowls and food bowls. Uh, we're still trying to compile a list of everything that, that we lost. The volunteers say the thieves came here, actually tried to steal that trailer first. They didn't have any luck, so they hooked up into the Homeward Bound trailer and took off. The trailer itself, I think, is around $2,000. Uh, luckily, that is insured. The folks from Homeward Bound think the thief may have been after just the trailer itself and not necessarily what was inside. All things needed for the upcoming Chester Dog Fair, a fair for dogs happening this September, and one of the biggest events for Homeward Bound to connect dogs with new owners. Everything we need to set up for the events is, for the most part, in that trailer. Old Saybrook police are looking for the thief. Give them a call if you see anything. In the meantime, Homeward Bound is accepting donations to restock what's needed come fair time this September. The group needs both supplies and money. We have a link for you to help on the Channel 3 app. Keep an eye out for any of those items you might find. In Old Saybrook, Luke Hydash, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.